Hey party people, uh, welcome back. Um, Kanji on the Area Pro 2 time. <coughs> What's this writing all about? Um, the phrase actually comes from here, which is a, uh, a patch that came out after the Great Tohoku earthquake in Japan that caused the, uh, the tidal wave. <coughs> and uh, the phrase is, it's weird. There's not a literal translation to it. I can't say these characters mean da 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 da. It's more like a thing. You'll hear them yelling it at baseball games. Combo. Uh, and it means we'll do my best. So this is we'll do my best Japan. And it reminds me of just the way the Japanese people are. Um, and it doesn't matter if they're driving in traffic or if they're trying to pick up a village after it's been uh, bulldozed by a tsunami or if they're pounding rice into something called mochi, gambolo, do my best, mm, type of thing. So anyways, we're going to put this right here. <clears throat> and I've had some great friends translate um, uh, the characters out for me. This is a total <laughs> no shit shot in the dark whether this is going to work or not. <clears throat> because I could do it with just some black lacquer paint sprayed into a bottle and just paint it right out of there. But I don't want to do that. Because um, I know I can do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is use um, a traditional form of um, uh, of writing, um, and this is a this is what's called an ink stone, and uh, this is an ink stick stone and stick. Um, neither one of these is. Uh, very expensive is very they're not very high quality um, as you can maybe see here um, I've got an impurity in my stick and you can see these scratches here um, which means a couple of things um, the ink is is just it's ba it's soot um, wood soot uh, and some resin or a binder um, and that's what it is this is a pretty cheap this is a touristy type of thing um, I bought both of the uh, this all came as a kit uh, I got it in China I want to say probably in Guangzhou um, Canton for all you old timers um, on the Pearl River down by the South China Sea <clears throat> probably would have been 2001 and it's just a touristy type of an ink stone um, you know, it comes with brushes and the wax seal and all that type of stuff and I probably didn't pay more than 8 or 10 dollars for it and it's I don't even know if it's worth that. Um, as you can hear, yeah, right there. That's a good one. Um, there are pieces of something in here. Um, now, what that is, who knows? Because again, this is not this is not a high quality stuff. I mean, you can walk into a proper calligraphy shop and you can pay 10, 20, 60, 80, 100, 120 dollars for an ink stick. Um, and this one is probably of the uh, 
hundred for a dollar range. Really nice ink sticks. When you're moving this back and forth, it's just like, it's like pushing butter on a griddle. And this is not it. Um, and what I end up having to do is take 220 grit sandpaper after I'm done with this and have to have to sand out the little swirl marks on the stone. But anyways, that's not why you're here. So anyways, um, we're going to use this. Um, let me get this nice and dark. <clears throat> Be sure and dry your ink stick off after you use it. Otherwise, the whole thing will get wet and it'll fall apart. And it'll be just horrible. Yeah, the pollen's back. Can you tell? It has the sexy voice. <clears throat> now, I've been practicing this stupid thing for ages. And I don't even know if this is really going to work or not. But we're going to... I'm going to take a shot at it, hoping to get still a little dirty from one time. You can see here, this is the practicing that has been going on for ages. Um, I don't know how many times I've done this. Um, let me say this and let me say this now to all of my friends and uh, new uh, subscribers. Uh, if you know proper calligraphy technique, this is not it. Um, this is an, an old fat white guy um, just trying to give credit where credit is due. Uh, this is not how you do proper Japanese calligraphy. Um, so if you're here looking for that, this ain't the place. So just save the hate mail. Um, all right, well, let's, let's do this. Yeehaw, here we go. like all kinds of you can see on the surface you can see the grit it's just like that you like that sounds really good with the allergies doesn't it Bleh. Now, part of this is I'm kind of hoping to get this quasi-transparent look of the ink as opposed to just this total blackout, none more black kind of black. Um, <clears throat> so that hopefully that you will see that it's just not black, black, black. And also that you'll be able to see that it is not, you know, robo-formed by any means. Is the exciting stuff, yes?
So, there we go. Um, yeah, eh, it's okay. <clears throat> um, now we're gonna let it dry. We're gonna let it dry for at least a day, uh, probably two days. Um, and then um, we'll uh, we'll start throwing the clear on it again. Um, wow! And then, uh, believe it or not, after the clear has time to cure, we'll start putting it back together again. And it might even be a guitar. Uh, I'm still kind of thrown on whether or not I should. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to wet sand this a little bit. I have a very distinct edge right here um, where the black is. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to have to soften that down a little bit because I don't want to put a gozillion coats on here um, to go over the gozillion coats that are already on it. So yeah, we'll have to wet sand this a little bit. Um, we'll give this time to dry. Uh, and then we'll uh, then we'll carry on. So, uh, come below.